What is up guys, this is Trav, back again with another brand new episode of the Trav Talk Show. And today I'm joined by Ryan once again. Hey, what's up guys, this is Worse. Check him out on uh, Worse Reviews, I almost said WorseReviews.com, but you do not have a website. Um, <laughs> but if you did, that'd, pretty, that'd, that'd be pretty fantastic. But anyway guys, we are here today talking about something that... Um, We've discussed in person, obviously, I mean, it's kind of like, usually if it's something that, you know, we really want to talk about, then we've discussed it, you know, outside of, like, a show or, like, a video or whatever. Yeah, it's a, it's a subject that I've wanted to talk about two plus years going, like, I, even before then, like, uh, on my, uh, on, like, on Worst Reviews, I, I've really wanted to make a video about product placement, and it's it's always been a discussion. It's always been an argument. It's always been like a presence in the discussion of film, at least somewhere. Maybe maybe not like in in your face, in your face. But sometimes it is. Like sometimes it's like. And me and Trav, like when we when we discussed it, we got kind of heated. It wasn't like heated. Yeah, it wasn't each like. Other yeah, it wasn't heated towards each it other. Was just but like something that somehow we actually kind of have a little bit of passion for i don't i, I don't well, know what unlocked it for one for one like, you know i'm i'm a food review channel so there's a little bit of that like you know i've dealt with the product placement you know commu you know like food community comes with like certain a certain kind of uh force like haters and stuff like that like or people that i don't know not you know like the no tomatoes argument and all the stuff but that's not necessarily I mean, that's product placement in a sense, but not in the way that, like, we're discussing. I mean, it, this is, like, actually, like, brands and all this stuff. So, like, I've got a little bit of knowledge about product placement. But, you know, we're we're mainly discussing uh, product placement in movies. That's what this whole thing's about. And, um, like, me and Ashley bought, because uh, it just came out, and I highly recommend it if you guys, if anybody hasn't seen it. And especially if anybody even barely likes Queen, you need to go watch this movie. But uh, Bohemian Rhapsody came out. And me and Ashley watched it last night. And one thing that I noticed about uh, the movie, and like, and I didn't notice whenever we saw it in theaters, was like, you know, there's a lot of people wearing Adidas. And Ashley just kept pointing out, like, actually, as a matter of fact, everyone's wearing Adidas shoes. Um, which, I mean, is, you know, it, it it's a nice looking shoe, especially for like back then. And, you know, it's like almost probably like the Vans of today is how I kind of see it or like Converse. And one thing I was noticing uh, on the scene where Brian May is basically like coming up with the stomping and clapping for We Will Rock You is like, wait a minute, you know what? He's wearing an Adidas jacket. And to like what something that Ryan and the one thing, the one reason I wanted to record this episode at some point is because Ryan pointed out to me that like there are people that and I don't know, and maybe he can explain a little more of where these like types of people are that just hate the idea of product placement. We, me and Ryan discussed it, and like he said, we didn't get like heated towards each other, but just heated on the subject because it's kind of really frustrating that people would get very upset about like, oh, like for instance, an Adidas jacket, it's too on the nose, it's too like sponsorship-ish or whatever. It's like, well, if you think about it, um, what else are they supposed to do? Like, what other jackets are they supposed to wear? Just everyone not not wear a name brand? Like, that's a little boring in a sense because if people were walking around not wearing name brands in movies, it's like. I would probably get pulled out of the movie. There would probably be a certain level of, like, not noticing that. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But at the same time, like, if you want to make your movie more believable and more real, in my opinion, you should have real products in the film. And that's my side of it. But <clears throat> I don't know what Ryan truly, you know, thinks about it. My side of it is basically... It's basically exactly what you said. Um... Yeah, like, uh, what I was thinking, like, while you were telling me about the Bohemian Rhapsody, which, by the way, now is going to be a thing where now I'm going to be noticing that throughout the movie, like, seeing it again. But I think, um, in a sense, I, I, I love it. Like, I, there's a, there's a, there's probably it a line. Put, it puts you into a time, you know what yeah, I mean? It's it, like, Adidas is, like you said earlier, is like a very 80s brand. It's it's very 80s, like it's very, uh, it's, a, it's a good way it to simplify. It fits right in with Freddie Mercury's time, it really does, in my yeah, opinion. It, it's a good way to simplify the whole, like, trends going on, is just, hey, Adidas. <clears throat> and, like, even with uh, Back to the Future, pretty much all the, uh, all the fashion war is guess. And um, my uncle and and my mom was like, "Hey, 
uh, uh, everybody in the 80s was pretty much wore guess or, or nothing. Like, that was their whole, like, it, it was really a big thing. <laughs> That's what that tells me. Not that even now, I mean, maybe it's like, oh, Converse or nothing. Maybe you could make that argument or something like that. But. Like a scene that comes to mind is like uh, the cable guy, you know, Jim Carrey wears Converse on the scene where he's like trying to like, you know, trying to show him up uh, on playing basketball, which is a great scene. But um, he's wearing Converse because like they're just one of the most noticeable types of shoes you can't uh, you, there's no way like unless it's somehow because they're all are off-brand converse but like it, it wasn't because i remember the logo on the shoe and like and all this stuff and all i'm thinking is like well so they they do have to go through certain kind of like a business you know business in some way signing papers all the stuff to get certain brands and movies and get the rights to it and everything and so i think maybe in a way people get taken out of the movie and yes there has been bad product placement in movies, like, people jump over, people always jump over to, like, uh, what's his name, Mark Wahlberg, and, um, I don't know what, uh, the freaking, whatever, whichever one, Transformers 4, um, <clears throat> basically where he, I, I don't remember the scene exactly, but maybe, you know, I should have maybe watched it <laughs> before this to be able to describe it better, but it's, like, probably, like, some kind of beers, like, Bush or something along those lines, um, I think it may have been just Budweiser, and, like, a truck crashes, and there's just beer everywhere all over the ground, and, like, he drinks it in, this, in like, a sense where it was almost like a commercial, and it was just, like, this kind of awkward scene of, like, oh, he takes a sip out of beer even though there's just some danger, <laughs> like, and so in a way, like, I could see how it could be done wrong, but as for just wearing the clothes and stuff, I literally have never had an issue. That's like saying... Oh, everyone should wear, like, off-brand uh, band shirts in movies. When, when To me, it's like, if you're wearing, like, a Metallica shirt or something, it's more realistic to me than, like, something I've never heard of. <laughs> yeah, like, that would take me... That would take me completely out of it. Like, if it's uh, if it was something off-brand or something, like... I, I get you. Like you said, there was a cer- there's a certain point where it literally wouldn't bother me because I'm... For one, I'm not even really a big guy that I, I do notice brands and product placements like my graphic design I has really trained me like to really notice stuff like that like very much so like but it just it's never taken me out of a movie and like you said even like the bad product placement heck I don't even like with Transformers 4 then again I haven't even seen it since it came out but I don't even remember what you're talking about well <laughs> and like, also like people people always complain so about bad like, that I'm I'm gonna forget or something people but. people always complain about like oh Sony movies only use Sony products what's well, like yeah. I mean kind of duh like I mean if like if you know if there's nothing really that wrong with that it it takes you out a little bit because you're like well then that's not a realistic world because not everybody's like a Sony Sony phone, a Sony computer, like, it's always Sony brand only, um, and, like, yeah, I've kind of noticed, I've, I've had moments where I watch a movie and I'm taken out of it, and actually, when I think about it, especially Sony movies, anytime I watch a Sony movie, I'm just, my eyes are just catching, like, okay, so literally everything is Sony, everything electronic in this movie is Sony, that's not real, <laughs> um, so it's just one of those things, like, you so- gotta make me believe your world is real, so it, it just kind of, it sometimes will take me out, but, like, let me ask the people in the comments before we continue, because we're gonna we're gonna get deeper into this. But like, what what do you guys think? We want to know just right off the bat. I'm not even gonna wait till the end to ask you. What do you guys think about product placement, and what is a good example of bad product placement, um, or what's a good example of good product placement? Just let, let me know, guys. There's a lot of movies that I'm probably not thinking about that do it rather good or bad. And honestly, when I think about it, like Back to the Future. Um, they did it pretty spot on. That was probably the first movie that, like, those those movies were, like, the first movies that I was, like, um, that I remember thinking, like, oh, there's some good products <laughs> in this movie, but, like, it wasn't, like, everything is the same product. Yeah, like, uh, I think the most, most famous, in fact, I think one of the most famous uses of product placement is Back to the Future, I really, because of the whole, uh, diner scene is... He's like, yeah, give me a Pepsi free. I'm like, oh yeah, but yeah, <laughs> just... but we don't we don't have any Pepsi. Like, you gotta pay for it. And then he's like, well, just give me a tab. 
<laughs> like and just, so it's just straight up like yeah pepsi and tab like that's 80s um but and that has never even that will never take me out of it like, like and, I'm, and i wonder like you know level, just dropping like, the name what, what did that mean it probably is like four under the lines like you have to show it on screen for it to cost anything but at the same time like you never know like i actually don't know the full rules of that like dropping a name brand even just with words what does that cost for you know, know and stuff like but... that but you know uh it could go it could go any direction you know um yeah <laughs> But it's one of these things. Here's why. Here's the main thing. Like why I wanted to make, um, you know, the product placement video on worst reviews, and this is just going to replace that. This is just this is just the best format for it. But um, was basically and love him or hate him, um, why it really really came to my attention. Like wow, there are probably people that really get this heated over this nonsense. But like nostalgia critic. Um, I have, I've seen, I keep up with him completely every episode as I check love. out channel. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, channel. Um, and, uh, everyone knows about nostalgia critic and everyone by now has already forgot about him and has already just put him in the trash. That's just the main consistence consensus. But anyway, um, I ha was showing Trav all of his episodes just again, I was just like, man, I'm just going to watch all these again. Because all of his early stuff, I don't even care what you say. It's all just so good. Um, like like all of his like first, uh, first few years of doing it, like first three years is just perfect. But anyway, one of those episodes is from a movie called Double Team. And n no one's heard of this movie. <laughs> like, and if you have, then you're like a superhero or something that just knows about all the <laughs> just about everything but anyway there's a scene just toward the end that is so stupid just where these these guys are being protected from an explosion by a coke machine and <laughs> it's one of those it's one of these things where just nostalgia critic got so heated about yeah um coke you know was uh like like okay what what other machine is it gonna be? Like yeah, that's that's kind of oh yeah, first. Pepsi machine. You're gonna get just as frustrated. Oh yeah, Pepsi. Yeah, um, yeah, they uh, like stop. <laughs> that's kind of where that's where you first because... brought this up to me, and I forgot about you saying that because like it, it probably. I mean, that moment in that movie, just what the way you describe <laughs> it is like. It sounds like it would be kind of cheesy and over the top. So I think it's... if some, I think when I think people get taken out of it, like with Transformers, I very very specifically remember. Whenever uh, I think it was Transformers one or two, whichever one, where like at the end, like stuff is starting to get the electronics are getting infected and turning into Transformers. Like I remember specifically that one like machine that's like turns into like something turned into like an Xbox Transformer and it had the sound effect. I remember that. So like there's like moments where it's like it's cheesy. So I can I'd imagine that that Coke machine might just be, you know what I mean, like just cheesy in that way. So. I understand people's side on that, but like, there's like, but there's also people that's just a Coke, Coca-Cola machine in a movie that they don't they, like it. That's a bad decision. And, but there is a little bit of that where it's like, if it's only Coke machines, I get taken out. Like, it's just like, and if I Coke understand. is just like, the everywhere, time... cause there's some really, there's some really, really bad movies that like, or even good movies <laughs> that have bad overuse of p product placement, where it's just like the only I... drink in the film is Coke. That's where it gets. That's where it's wrong. But like you said, like what else? Like on a scene like that, like it would. I would be to have more. I told you last time we talked about this off camera. Like, um, like if it was anything else, like a tab or a more off-brand thing, I'd be way more taken out. But Coke is just like that's a normal thing. That's the most drink soda in the U.S. of A. <laughs> like it's, it's just it's really that's... like it, like if you if you are somebody who gets heated about this, it's it's really like take a step back because even even with Trav's point about like okay, what if it's the only thing in the movie? Even to that level, like okay, there's okay in the later Jurassic Park movies after Jurassic Park one. There's only Mercedes. 
Only only yeah. <laughs> Mercedes is driven. Like that's the only vehicles in the movie or any of those any of the later movies is just Mercedes. And I may be wrong, but I know like in the first one it's it just the explorers. <laughs> yeah, talk <laughs> like, about, you know, people buying those explorers right after they see that, by the way, and I'm sure there's been freaking thousands of people that did that in freaking 93. I guess. <laughs> like, um, just like, you know, because that that was a freaking good-looking car. Even, you know, when I was watching that as a kid, I was like, man, I love that car and the color. And they obviously, you know, there was probably people that went to dealerships like, can I get it in that color? <laughs> like, with, like, all that, you know, the Jurassic Park logo and, like, all this cool stuff. I mean, I'm sure... And if anybody, if you know of anybody that does that, leaving us a link in the, in the video, that'd be, you know, cool. But, um, but yeah, like... Or heck, Back to the Future, again, the freaking DeLorean is just, that's huge product placement. Like, <laughs> yeah, because you got people to buy more DeLoreans that's is huge. all I've heard. That's all like, I've heard about, you know, and that was, and it was and a it's very... it's never uh, taken me out. And back like before that movie, movie was like, even being made, like, all I've ever heard from, like, people that made the movie is, like, and, like, interviews and stuff like that is, like, a DeLorean wasn't as popular until that movie came out. Like, I mean, yeah, it was always been, like, the type of, like, there was just not as big of, like, much of an eye on the DeLorean. Um, unless I'm wrong about that, unless um, somebody could clear me up, but, like, that's all I've heard is that after the movie came out, like, there was more people wanting one and buying them. But, okay, but my whole point, like, going back to even the Mercedes thing, which that is more extreme just because Mercedes is actually a really high-end brand compared to, oh, Coke or whatever, or Pepsi, which I guess both of those are technically high-end brands. I guess maybe maybe there's no difference in like oh what you'd have to spend or what kind of contracts you'd have to go through. Maybe I don't know, but it's like why on earth? Like even if like, like even the Sony thing, like why on earth would you bring it up? Much less complain about its presence in the movie if the movie itself is already five hundred million dollars to make. Like, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, because the don't opposite know. of that would be, and yeah, what, I, like the opposite of that would be, like think about, and when I really think about it, like it is kind of this thing where Deadpool, was, the first one, was like one of those, one of the more real. You know, it's over the top, whatever, but it had, like, a really great love story and all this, and, like, it's it it was Deadpool breaking the fourth wall, but somehow they did it, you know, they wrote it so right, where it's like, he seems, everything seems so real and everything, but they had such a low budget that if you notice, there's not any product placement in that movie. But, so, <laughs> it's like, it, it can be argued, like, you know, like, better the movies are just better without product placement but at the same time it's like there's a level to it like that that's kind of what the point that i think both of us are trying to make here is like to me at least there's a level to it there's a there's a boundary you don't cross but at the same time i've just never understood the people that just don't like it at all and don't want it in movies at all whatever that's just real life See, yeah, it's like, it's literally just bringing more realism to the movie, which a lot of people complain about, like, yeah, it's lacking in realism, yada yada, there's that whole, that, like, like okay, so, and that's a whole other thing, <laughs> but anyway, like, okay, and this is a pretty, uh, I guess, obscure example, I mean, Double Team is a pretty freaking obscure example already but like okay atlanta which i guess i could plug the show atlanta it's amazing love it um donald glover slash childish gambino just his show amazing amazing show that's going for realism of the highest order it's really going it's going for it like i love it for that reason like this one of the it's like next to breaking bad which is probably a whole other conversation but it's just going for that realism and what i loved this is just probably my favorite use of product placement ever i guess besides back to the future and i can probably think of a lot more stuff that i really love the product placement specifically um is uh they just had there was this okay for one it was a restaurant that was an off-brand i guess made up restaurant for the show i'm not sure so that's a whole other thing but 
they just had just sitting right in the middle of the frame just at the beginning of i think it's season two episode two yeah that's what it was i yeah or episode one or one of those uh just the louisiana sweet tea just big container just sitting there and it's just a (laughs) slow zoom just right in on it and it's just all this stuff happening in the background that's like unsettling but it's just like focusing on this thing to make you feel less unsettled and that's what it is I freaking loved that because it's like, you can't say a word. <laughs> you can't say a word about Louisiana sweet tea. Like, and that's just, I loved that. Cause that's, this got me ignited to make, you know, the video again was, I was like, there's that extreme. And then, okay. The other extreme, I talked to Trav over the phone. Cause I was like, I've got to tell you about this was freaking, <laughs> I hop in Man of Steel. Yeah, like, there's a lot of backlash other... about that. Like... Whatever. It's like, so those of you that haven't seen Man of Steel, <laughs> um, there's a scene where basically Superman is, this is just a long story short, but uh, I think it's Zod or somebody just basically throws him into, well, it's that one chick, I forgot her name, but uh, one of Zod's uh, minions, as you could say, but she, like, just, they have a fight, and she throws him into an IHOP, and, well, at one point, it's, like, a freaking bank, but I don't know what, if there was, like, a uh, a name brand bank or whatever, but, um, or something like that, (laughs) something just... Ozark, like, or something, but, like, uh, Lord knows it's not gonna be Centennial, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but freaking IHOP, throws him, throws him into IHOP, and it's like, people had complaints about that, just because, like, why is IHOP such a focus in this movie, it's like, yeah, okay, IHOP probably made its money, alright, you know what I mean, like, places make their money because their company is in movies, but, but I I've never you... seen that as like an issue. It's like it's like that's that's a great opportunity for companies to make money. It's also like that's you know what I'm saying. Like... I, I can guarantee after walking out of that movie, people were like, "You want to go to IHOP?" You know, like or you know, it's like it's not a bad thing. You're making companies money, and for some reason, people turn that into a negative. Like, oh well, that's like that's cheap or whatever. It's like, well, uh, let me uh, clear up something for you guys. <clears throat> IHOP is a real breakfast restaurant. I would be more taken out of it if it was just something called restaurant breakfast or whatever. Like, cause there's just like some restaurants and movies. It's just like we serve breakfast. Like, well, and I'm freaking, always and I'm and I'm always like, well, where is that? What is it? Freaking, like, yeah, like you're. I'm you're questioning, all of a you know of that. It's like, okay. like, that looks like, or like that restaurant and baby driver, which I know that, okay, that, that's forgiven just because that was a name of like a, like a, it's like someone uh, names it after themselves, like Joe's Breakfast Place or something like that. Like that's, that's kind of realistic because there's plenty of places that yeah, aren't just a company. Yeah. But at the same time, but if but if in Baby Driver that place was just literally Waffle House, I would feel nothing more or yeah. less about it. Yeah, exactly. Like if, cause it, exactly. Cause that place like, in that movie is exactly like Waffle House. It looks just like it. I've always thought that, and I'm like that's basically what it is, in my opinion. But in the movie, it's just the name of some of a place, and like, but I hope that, that to me that's just obnoxious. Whenever you get angry about that. Yeah, because like I like my my point that I'll never not make that I just made just a bit ago is like, why would you bring that up? Why would you complain? whenever the movie is like 500 million dollars to begin with like that, again that, again that ladies and gentlemen let <laughs> like, let let us know like just let us know what you think about product placement like where is it used correctly and you know how do you feel when you see you place like IHOP suddenly in a movie or like an IHOP basically getting destroyed because that was the so, whole point of it is like it you know i don't know there's something there's something to it there and on and honestly I don't really get taken out. What like a lot of people are like, oh, I get taken out if it's humorous. When it gets thrown into IHOP, it's you kind of chuckle a little bit. It's like okay, IHOP. So I can kind of see how that could be 
quote unquote annoying to see that, but it's but I don't see like that kind of humor to be obnoxious. Like I just like it's nice to just have something to laugh at. So whenever he gets thrown into like and it shows that wide shot of the building and it's the IHOP sign, you're like, oh, that's pretty great. Like I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. It's like that's an IHOP and it would exist anywhere and it probably and that and that and that and that place that they're at that country land and all that that area is like that's probably where an IHOP would be you know like that's just that's how I see it is like I don't see it as a problem I see it as like I might chuckle at it because just you know if you show a brand sometimes it just I don't know there's something about it there's like a humor to it but like it, I, but I know it's not intentionally for humor like unless Zack Snyder was like you know what would be great and hilarious if we had I hop in this movie, like, and it's just like, you know, I don't see that as, like, an issue, I see it as, like, great, like, that's, that's hilarious, and great, because it's a real place, it'd be, it'd, it would take me out of it more if it was, like, we're gonna call this place, like, I don't know, just some really stupid made-up name that well, sounds like it's trying to tie it to Superman or something, yeah, <laughs> like, like yeah, the would, red cape would, breakfast or something would, like, yeah, something like <laughs> or something, that something would random ruin like that. It that for that me, is like... when that's when I get angry because I've had move I've seen movies like that where they're trying to tie it to the origin of something of the movie you're watching. I'm like, no, please don't. Like, yeah, I'm just because... like, at least make it a real place. Yeah, or because... Applebee's in Talladega Nights. I'm sure there's plenty of people that are like, that's terrible, but it's like I think that was hilarious and great that they just name dropped and showed. The shot of Apple piece in the movie, like I don't know. Yeah, like that's that's a whole thing, and then like uh, we we even we even got a like just a humorous detour, I guess. Not really a detour; it's still very on subject. But uh, we thought of also just Drake and Josh, like oh god, all, all the all the product placement is soda and. <laughs> like, for those of you, for those old people out freak. there, <laughs> Drake and Josh, it's a Nickelodeon show that was on while we were basically growing up, and is one of the best shows of all time. The only issue with the whole film, film, the only issue with the whole show was every single thing was somehow a made fun of version because they probably, I guess, just couldn't afford it. Yeah, and I and, and 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 I. I personally, I think that's BS. It's Nickelodeon, dude. They probably could have <laughs> somehow did that, but, um, yeah, like, I forgot what it was, but, like, I don't know, I think Mountain Dew was, like, Mr. Fizz or something like that, yeah, I don't remember all like of them, that. like, takes me completely uh, oh, yeah, and Mocha, Mocha Cola on, was like... Coca-Cola, and that was, you know, and they had, and just, and, and all of the, like, cans, you know, you could tell that it's just, like, this printed, like, just fake, like, thing that they had to probably make it in paint or something like on the computer like just mocha cola and all this stuff and there was sort of this humor to it where you're like laughing at the names of them but then i'm then every time they had a product in drake and josh i'm like okay that, that it just takes me out of it a little bit because some of the episodes were not to be humorous um they were, you know, some moments were taken pretty seriously in that show, and then, like, oh, you got just a shot of Mocha-Cola in the shot, like, okay, thank you for taking me out of the whole show, like, just kind of taking my brain out of it just a little bit. Yeah, like, it's, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe, like, for the people that do get angry at, like, IHOP, it's like, do they prefer that? I You, you can't convince me that people prefer that. There's no, I, you... Let me let us know like, in the comments, guys. Do you prefer more of like the made up brands? Like, I mean, Drake and Josh was just way too on the nose. Like Mocha Cola, like every br okay, like every drink brand because Josh worked at a movie theater, so you had to see it a lot. Um, and I understand. And what the funny part is is like I never had a problem with the. I remember the uh, the name of the movie theater was like the premiere. And I remember that about it, but always just thinking, well, that could literally be the name of a theater. And I remember thinking that as a kid, is like yeah. that could literally that's very realistic. So that's forgiven. And, and, like, very but then, so. like every single th product in the and okay, and on top of that, what always took me out as well, every movie in, in there was made up. Every movie yeah. that they were showing but, was some kind of fake poster with a fake name, and there was humor to that. Yeah, but it was like, also like, but it was also like, but yeah, but this show isn't supposed to be like a parody of itself. Some of it is pretty serious, you know. It's like it wasn't, you know. It okay. Let me let me just 
let me uh, correct myself there. Like, the show was literally a Nickelodeon show for comedy. It was. It wasn't just the posters and the name of the movies, but just the fact that, like, you go out of your way to be... Like, Mountain Dew was almost the name Mountain Dew, but something different. Coca-Cola is clearly, you know, Mocha-Cola in there, and all these different brands. It just, I would rather you completely change the world where everything would be just completely different and not close to the same thing yeah. um, than anything else. I would rather, you know, because then I would just think, oh, maybe that's, like, some brands that I don't know about that are somewhere else, you know, somewhere else in the world. But no, like, it's clearly, you're sitting there even as a kid, like, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> like, it's just like, you know, and so, um, yeah, that's just, so let me know, guys, in the comments, like, what do you prefer? Something made up? Something close to the original thing? Or just, you would you actually just prefer the real product? Because the Drake and Josh, you know, even though it, it was a Nickelodeon comedic show, it just would have been a little better if they somehow could have paid for, like, okay, at least have regular... If Even if you just had to have regular Coke in the show only, I would that would, that would pull me in more than just those completely made-up brands. So if any of you know any information like you could give me on this, and this is something that I just thought of on the spot that I think is really interesting, it's like, would it be cheaper for like a company like WB or like somebody, some Sony or movies, you know, uh, movie companies like that, like, would it be cheaper for them to just be like, for instance, the original Spider-Man movie, like Sam Raimi, uh, had Dr. Pepper majorly in it, and I remember very specifically having, like, I, when I drank Dr. Pepper back then, they would have, like, you know, Spider-Man movie advertisement. Oh, and I remember, um, the Iron Man, uh, 2. Like, very specifically, I remember drinking, uh, Dr. Pepper or whatever it was in high school, and then, like, just seeing the Iron Man 2, like, um, uh, uh, advertisement with Don Channel and him on the can, so I remember that very specifically. Uh, so you can kind of, like, tie your brain to, <clears throat> to certain movies on certain products, so that's always been a cool thing for me that I, like, will always closely remember his products, like, you know... I don't necessarily think Dr. Pepper makes me think of original Spider-Man movie, but at the same time, like, if there, if it was to come up in some way, I would remember that. But would it be cheaper for companies to just, and I don't know why none have really ever done this, but, like, Dr. Pepper, for instance, is it cheaper for them to, like, sponsor <clears throat> Mr. Pibb or something like that, where it's, like, the opposite version of the product? I don't know, really know how that works, and me and Ryan were talking about it, like, how does that, like, what, like, I'm just kind of confused on that because I've never actually seen that. I don't think I've ever, I can think of a movie off the top of my head that's like, oh, let's use the off-brand version of this because, you know, you never see any Kroger brand. You never, you know, like Big K. You don't really see great value in movies or anything like that. And that's a really interesting thought when I really think about it. Like, And, yeah, I think Walmart has been in a few movies and stuff, but I don't really... I don't really think, like, movies do the off. So if, I don't know, my point is, like, if anybody has any information on why they only go with rather made-up brands or just straight-up regular brands like Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, and all that. And Mountain Dew's been, like, in a lot of movies. Um, but, I don't know, that's just a really weird thought I just had. Like, what's up with that? Like, why can't they just use the off-brand versions to be cheaper, or is it literally, like, it's no matter what, it's expensive? Like, I'm just really curious about that. I think when it comes down to it, bad uh, versions of, like, product placement is just when it's just too on the nose. That's just where, there's two sides to this, rather. It's too on the nose, or it blends in really well. I've never really had, a, I've never really seen a movie that really rides down the middle, where it's like, oh, emphasis on, like, this product, but then, like, you know, and, and then, then the rest of the movie, it just blends in. But, like, Bohemian Rhapsody, ladies and gentlemen, is a great example of great product placement, where you have Adidas in the movie, but they're not, the point is they're not trying to sell Adidas shoes or anything like that, because, for one, it happened back in the day, and the, and the version, and the color, and, like, the way this Adidas brand looks is not necessarily how um, it would look now, which is even more interesting because that means that they probably, I don't know, probably have to redesign, like, the old jackets and stuff. And, I mean, you could find, I'm sure they, you know, they're, they have a team. It's a studio with, like, you know, with a makeup artist and everything. Like, they figure all that out, and I don't even know how they do it or pull it off. So that's a great 
uh, it's almost like almost more of an applause to like, okay, you actually like got Adidas <laughs> to be in this movie, like, um, in whatever way, and it like, and it, and it, and like you said earlier, is it like goes really well with the '80s, so it's it's perfect. But bad, you know, bad product placement off the top of my head, like super terrible stuff. Can't really think of it, but like I know that the, maybe that scene in Double Team that may have been a little too on the nose, like oh a Coke machine because it's kind of it is kind of like a little bit of emphasis, but also it rides that other line like but what else would it be or is it just like people are just compl or is it just people are complaining like oh they did, that scene could have just not even been in there and it's just bad writing because that really is a certain kind of like writing whenever someone just writes on a script like. And a Coke machine will <laughs> save the day. Like, you know, know, it's like, like, it's almost like it's on purpose to try to sell something. Like, and like, but Bohemian Rhapsody or movies like that. And like I said, guys, leave me in the comments, like, what movies have done it right and what movies have not done it correctly. I really want to know. I want to have a conversation about this because it's super interesting, in my opinion. Uh, but it's also one of those subjects that gives me a headache. <laughs> because it's just like, it, it, there's so many different levels to it. But like I said, I mean, mostly it's like, there's levels to it, but it rather goes one way or the other. Rather, it's good product placement in a movie or bad. Apparently, it was interesting enough for us to actually consider, like, oh, we'll do an episode on this. And, I mean, it's it's not it's not something that really comes up every day or anything like that. It's just... Uh, it's just super interesting It's as just well. interesting in general, and I've always noticed, and me and Trav are always really good at just noticing brands, and I just... We both have just kind of a trained eye for that, and a lot of people may not even care or even care to notice, which I applaud y'all in the first place, because that's... Because, I mean, if you're a film buff, great. then the more movies you watch, the more things you catch, and, you know, that's definitely what we are. I love movies, and um, so it's just one of those things. Yeah, like, um, and also, like, I wonder what anyone would think of just Run DMC's song, My Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> what? They have a song about the Adidas <laughs> stuff they wear. So <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty great. Probably. That's that's kind of good. That's that's oh that's, my that's, gosh. that's that's good so. product placement and music. <laughs> but then again, I gotta hear the song to get a full opinion on it. I don't know about it. I don't, my I don't, I don't. Adidas. <laughs> But yeah, guys, any more on this subject, I would love to hear because it's it's really weird. It seems like something everyone has a different opinion about, like everyone. Like, yeah, yeah, and I'm super curious um, to hear what you guys have to say about it. And, you know, especially, you know, it makes sense to drop this kind of thing on a food review channel because in a certain yeah. sense, <laughs> food reviewing is product placement. And, and and if anyone out there is like, oh, you're just trying to <laughs> you're just trying to sell me some Hardee's. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just reviewing Hardy, he's like it's just like it, like it's just one of those things. Like it's not something that I'm doing absolutely on purpose. It's just like that just happens to be the place that has this new product that I'm reviewing. Like you know, it's like it's all just a coincidence. Like you know, a big, pretty much a coincidence. But there's a loud truck, so I'm waiting <laughs> on that. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me let me tell you this. Let me just say it like this. For one, one really good example of no product placement in a certain franchise that we most of us know and love is Star Wars. Has anyone ever seen a red Coke can that is like in a, a in an alien language or something? Like that's how I see if they did put Coke in Star Wars or a drink like that, they probably would have it like made fun of like with an alien language. But man, that if I saw that in Star Wars, I probably wouldn't be a Star Wars fan. That's how much I would dislike that. So I can see that level of hatred towards it, but like for instance, that's just that's the point I'm trying to make is like look at Star Wars has like no product placement whatsoever because everything is like a galaxy far far away and everything is made up and like it might be, you know, Earth exists and all this and that we're on it later in time or something, but like generally it's just a different world. Just generally it's a total different area place. So it's like there's no you know, there are products, you know, like drinks and bars and all that stuff, but all those things that are real in Star Wars, uh, that would be real, you know, uh, that are real in real life, 
But if you really think about it, like Star Wars, no product placement. So. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be the one example of old time that's just straight up like, uh, yeah, I think that's where we both agree to that extent but it's like come on just please get a life come on please get a life and stop doing this show Jeez. but yeah guys let us know in the comments what you think about product placement in general what are some good movies bad movies all the above guys like or like i said good movies with bad product placement or the other way around uh you know, and just like I just want to have a conversation about this, and because I, I think it's super interesting, uh, I am going to let Ryan say his goodbyes before we wrap the show up. Yeah, guys, definitely have an awesome week, and uh, you'll be hearing us uh, maybe weekly. We're trying to figure that out. At least once a week. I think that's what we're going to go for. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff, guys, and tune in to the next episode probably next week, and you'll be seeing me and Ryan in the next. Actually, you'll be hearing us. I don't know why. I still got to get used to saying hearing in the next one. Trav out, and peace out.